Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. This palette's full of gorgeous rose gold tones and you will see my review at the end of this video. I used to love this palette and I'm not so sure if I do anymore. But I guess you'll have to wait to the end to find out and see. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this look and hear my thoughts on this palette, then let's get started. So really quickly, I'm just going to prime my eyes with some concealer. So on a quick side note, I already have my foundation, concealer, and powder on. And obviously, I already have my eyebrows on as well. So I'm just using my concealer as an eye primer just to get rid of all those veins on the eyelid and cover up my freckles as well. So to set that, I'm going to go ahead and take that first shade in the palette called Strange and put this all over the lids. So I started watching The Good Doctor last week, I believe. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Everyone told me it was good, and I was like, it can't be this good. It's so good. I've cried. So I've literally cried at like four or five episodes, and I only have, I think, two or three episodes left in the season, and I'm just like, I'm so excited to see what ha is going to happen, but I'm also like sad, like, I don't want it to end, you know? And now when it's over, I have no idea what to watch. I'm going to have to find something else. So all the shows I normally watch right now are on like a break or whatever. And I'm like running out of stuff to watch. But I am watching Suits and I'm so excited that's finally back on. So I'm first going to take the shade Limit right here and put that all over the crease. So what TV shows are you guys watching right now? Like do you recommend any? Because I'm definitely, I'm looking, I'm looking for stuff to watch. Not that big into comedy stuff. Um, I have watched The Office, and I did. I really love that show. But, I don't know. I kind of like more serious stuff, like... I also love crime shows. So the shows that I love that are currently, like, on a break or whatever, waiting for the next season to start are, like, The Blacklist, Lethal Weapon... Young Sheldon. I actually love that. If you guys like The Big Bang Theory, you will really like Young Sheldon. It's so, it's so cute and it's just so funny. Like, oh, uh, it's so funny. back into a palette you haven't used in a while and you're like I forgot how good these eyeshadows are I'm having that with this palette right now so I'm gonna go now into Mooner which is the shade right here and put this into the crease and just keep it a little bit lower so the only thing that makes me not like this palette that much is that there's only three matte shades and they're the three matte shades I already used so if you want to put something darker in your crease or like on the outer edge deepen it up you're gonna have to go into another palette which is annoying but, I mean, most of us have, like, a brown eyeshadow or something. If we want to deepen it up, like, you can use bronzer. But it's just, like, it would be nice to have everything all in one palette, you know? I have no idea what I'm doing with this look. So we're just, we're really just rolling with the punches here. Flying by the seat of our pants. Urban Decay has such good eyeshadows. Like, everything blends so easily. I love it. Love, love, love it. Also, I'd love to know what you guys think of my brows today because they're a little, they're a little cray. I'm not going to lie. They are a little crazy. So now I'm going to go into the shade Liar, which is right here. This shade right here I'm just gonna pack this all over the lid and I'm gonna try to use a brush but I will probably end up using my finger yeah it applies a lot better with your finger just a heads up so I'm not loving how it looks right now so I'm gonna take the shade dust right here with this brush that I started using before which is the Lexi 239 precision 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 shader brush. I'm going to go ahead and put this over top of what we just laid down. So I just 
actually went ahead and went in with my finger because these shimmers seem to be applying a lot better using my finger than with the brush. So that shade Dust does have some fallout because it is pr a pretty glittery shade. It looks beautiful on the eyes, but there's definitely some fallout. So now I'm going to go into the shade Factory right here and deepen up that outer V. To deepen it up even more, I'm going to take a tiny little bit of blackout on the end and really tap off my brush and then go ahead and deepen it up a little bit more. Also, something to note is these shadows are a little dusty. So now I'm just going to go into the crease because I did go ahead and drag some of that black in there just to give it a little definition. Um, so I'm just blending everything out really quickly. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the lower lash line. And we're going to take that second shade we used in the crease called Nooner right here. And just buff that along the entire lower lash line. take a little bit of this shade called dark side right there that gray color and put that on the edge outer edge of my lower lash line pretty tight to the lashes so I'm using this gray instead of the black so it won't be as harsh on the lower lash line and then really quickly, I'm going to take the shade Limit that we used first in our crease and just run the, blend everything out on that lower lash line. So for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to use Smoke and Whistles by ColourPop. It's a super shock cheek. It's a really, really pretty pinky shade, so I'm just rubbing around my brush in here and then applying it to the inner corners just to bring some light back. And with ColourPop's um, super, super Shock Cheeks and their shadows that are this formula, you definitely want to use a synthetic brush. It helps pick up the product a lot better. So really quickly off camera, I'm going to put on my ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner in the shade Overboard and my Ico Lash Alert Mascara. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we will be right back to finish up the look. Alright guys, I'm back and I have mascara and eyeliner on and really quickly, I want to shout out this Ico London mascara. I have been using this nonstop since I got it in my Ipsy bag. I love how it makes my lashes look. I think it gives my lashes a lot of length and I love it. The only thing is it can be a little clumpy if you apply too much so just be aware of that. If you just let it dry um, and then reapply a second coat it makes your lashes look really gorgeous. Like look at my lower lashes. Can you guys see? And even my upper lashes. I think they look really good. And I'm really, really impressed with this mascara. So now let's move on and finish up the rest of this look. So I'm going to go ahead and contour with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And mine's in the shade Dolce de Leche. I'm going to take this e.l.f. blending brush and go ahead and dip it in here. And just be warned, this is an extremely powdery product. Like, I dip my brush in there and powder went everywhere to say the least but it blends out very nicely and it's also super pigmented so I'm just gonna contour with this so just definitely make sure to tap off that excess now for bronze I'm gonna use my Tarte bronzer um, the Park Avenue princess bronzer and I'm just going to take a big old fluffy bronzer brush and dip that all in there and bronze the face. Now I'm just
just gonna go ahead and blend everything out with my little duo fiber brush from Eco Tools. From Eco Tools, why did I say that? So weird. I really like Eco Tools. I feel like their brushes are always really soft and really well made, and they're really affordable also. So for blush today, I'm gonna be mixing these two colors from the Morphe 9B blush palette. blending out that blush thank goodness it blends out so normally on your makeup blush is the first thing to go so it's okay to apply it a little heavy-handed so for highlight today I'm gonna take that same inner corner highlight the Colourpop smoke and whistles super shock cheek and I'm just gonna take it on my ring finger and pat it on the high points of my cheeks because I also want to go over top of it with something else so I'm just laying this down almost as a base. Over top that, I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in the shade 50 Molten Rose Gold. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this right on top of that ColourPop Super, super Shock Cheek that we just laid down. This highlight is so pretty. Now to finish off the look, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Buttercup. And right over top that lipstick, I'm going to apply the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Bound, which is a glossy um, formula. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And really quick, I want to give you guys my thoughts on this Naked 3 palette. Um, so, like I said before, I used to really love this palette. But using it again, I do really absolutely love the shimmer shade. I mean, not the shimmer shades. I absolutely love the matte shades in this palette. But there's only three. And I feel like the shimmer shades, the ones down here in this little quadrant, if you will all look the same. I mean, they're not the same. They all look different, but when you start blending everything together on the eyes, it's almost like each of them blends each other away and takes the first shade you lay down and it just like wipes it away or it almost blends into that color. So I feel like when I was using Liar and then I put Factory down, it you couldn't even tell a difference. To me, that was kind of disappointing. I don't know if that's just because like my Urban Decay palette's old and maybe it's time for me to get a new one, but if this was like expired, I wouldn't go out and purchase another one just because I, I don't pick up this palette enough as it is now. And if I got a new one, I feel like I would just like neglect it, you know? Also, I'm not a huge fan of rose gold looks anymore. I feel like I was a few years ago and I would use it all the time just for like the rose goldness of this, which is like the whole palette. But nowadays, I'm into the more warmer looks like oranges, browns, all that good stuff. And so this doesn't really do it for me anymore. So yeah, that's just my opinions on this. But if you are looking for a good rose gold palette that you think you'll use every day, I mean, this is good, but it's just not my cup of tea. But if you love rose gold looks, then you will most likely use this every day. Um, like I said before, the three matte shades in this palette are really good. And that's another gripe I have with this, is there's only three matte shades out of the one, two, out of the 12 shades in here, only three of them are matte, and that kind of irks me. So it's annoying to have to buy this palette and then dip into other palettes to find matte shades because Urban Decay didn't put enough matte, and matte shades in here, and then they put shimmer shades that look super similar to the other shimmer shades that are already in here. I don't know. It's just annoying. So yeah, kind of went off on a little tangent there, but this to me, I would not repurchase like I've said previously, not my cup of tea, but if it's your cup of tea, I would go to Sephora or Ulta and swatch these and see if you like it before you go ahead and purchase it. Alright guys, so that's everything I have for you today. Sorry I went off on a little bit of a tangent about the Naked 3 palette, but I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and feelings on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching how to get this makeup look, and I hope you guys like this look. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and don't forget to subscribe down below so that way you'll be notified for all my future videos. Also, coming up, 
should have a review on this little sponge from Real Techniques. It's the Miracle Diamond something, something, something. I don't know. <laughs> um, I have a feeling this will be edited after this makeup look, but we'll see. So yeah, that's everything I have for you, like I said before. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!